What's up YouTube? It has been a long seven months, but I'm finally back with a new video today and I actually have a brand new car to show you guys. And as you can tell by the title, you know what it is. So let's not waste any time and let me show you my brand new car. As you can see, here's my brand new car. It is a 2014 Subaru WRX STI. It is the limited model and it actually only has 60,000 miles on it. Now the crazy thing about this car is I'm actually the seventh owner of this car and we'll get into that later. But right now, let's talk a little bit about the car itself. We had to roll the windows up real quick. It's starting to rain a little bit, but let's check out what's under the hood. So the motor that comes in these cars is actually the 2.5 liter four cylinder turbo motor. And the thing with this car is it's a full bolt on STI. Now what that means is that everything done to the car is literally just bolted on. We did not crack the motor open. Nothing has been done in that aspect. So what this car has is actually a cop spec car. The previous owners ended up putting cop parts only on it. We had the cop intake. We had a cop turbo back exhaust with a cop heat shield. So it is literally a cop spec car and I am in love with that fact as it is tuned and I'm not sure who it is tuned by or what it is tuned to, but the three settings, which we'll get to that later on the inside, are all three different tunes of how the car performs. But this car is fast and whoever did it, did it right. And now we're gonna move on to the steering wheel. So there's actually a weird story of how I acquired this car, but we can get into that in another video. But long story short, I got the car and then I gave it back. And then I got it back again, but when I gave it back, I was looking for another one of this year and not a single one had this flat bottom steering wheel. So I think this steering wheel is actually an aftermarket steering wheel. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I'm pretty sure this is the one that you have to order from Subaru directly because it has a flat bottom and it's just, I've never seen one like this in this year of cars. So that's why I believe this as well is aftermarket. But other than that, that's all the car has done to it that I am aware of at the moment. Since we're in here and we just got done talking about this beautiful flat bottom steering wheel, let's move on to the interior of the car and show you why I love it so much over my old WRX's interior. storage of this car as you all know it is a four-door sedan and that is the weight of my heart i absolutely love four-door sedans because you can fit a lot more people in here if you need be and i just like to look at four doors let's start with a nice big truck which will surprise you because it surprised me let's check it out and now we're going to talk about all the space the sti has in the truck so as you guys can see i'm actually a six foot two tall male and I fit in that trunk perfectly fine with so much space. Not saying you should put people back there, but just saying that's a big trunk for a nice big four-door sedan as the WRX was a lot smaller, which is what I based this car off of. So now come take a look for yourself and see how big this trunk actually is. So now we're gonna talk about a little bit of the interior. So starting off, we're gonna start with this mirror here. So the mirrors in these Subarus are kind of wobbly is the one thing about this car. I noticed that in all Subarus, their mirrors are kind of wobbly, but it is a very nice mirror. It has buttons for the garage, it has a compass, it has a power button to turn the electronic on and off. 
come check it out. So now we're gonna talk about what personally seems to be my favorite part of the car is the clustering steering wheel. So first of all, with the steering wheel, it has hands-free control so you can talk while driving without having to use your hands to hold the phone. It has radio controls as well so you can change the radio station, make the music go up and down. It also has the obvious cruise control. Now, on these levers, there's nothing special. They're just windshield wipers, you know, lights. But come over and look at this side and I'll show you why this side's really cool. So as you can see, we have the beautiful cluster, the steering wheel. And if you look, there's the buttons to control the radio, the hands-free talking, and then the cruise control. And of course you have your light switch and you have your windshield wipers. But if you come over here, so this actually controls the brightness of that and how dim it goes, which I'm sure you might've known that already. But if you look over here, this button here actually adjusts your headlights. So if you're driving and your headlights are pointing too high or too low, you can adjust them there with that. That's a really cool feature. Here you have your automatic mirror switch and here's the button for traction control on and off. As you know, this car is able to control what it goes into. Now, let's talk about this cluster a little bit. As you've already seen the steering wheel and the side buttons, let's talk about this. So as you see, the car is not on the keys, just on having all the accessories on. This car has no lights on the dash whatsoever. And if we flip through, I can show you that this car has 62,000 miles on it as I bought it with 60 and put 2,000 miles on it. I've owned this car for probably about two months, but if you look, you have your gas gauge, your coolant temperature gauge, your RPMs gauge, and then you have your odometer to see how fast you're going. But what we're here to talk about is this. So you have different controls to put it in intelligent, sport sharp, or sport mode. And all three of these settings are a different tune for the car. So they all handle very, very differently, which is very cool. And as you see the C differential, it says auto. I actually have a button over here that can throw power to the front or throw power to the rear or just run auto all the time. So now let's show you those buttons. So as you can see, here's all the buttons. We have sport, sport sharp. You click the button to make it go to intelligent mode or you can just with a flick of a button, it changes instantly while you're driving. Then you have the auto for auto differential. You can throw power to the front or power to the rear or make it go back to auto. So these switches is what the WRX does not have and what makes the STI stand out so much in terms of performance package model. Speaking of performance, let's show you on the odometer what we can do to set rev limiter. So if you look here, we have the ability to click this little button, trip A, which also shows up here by the clock, the temperature and your miles per gallon, what you average, trip B, and then here we can set rev. So we can actually, if you look right there and I hold it, there's a red light. So you can actually adjust the rev to wherever the needle is, that light will flash and come on and it will set it to where you won't accidentally go over a certain RPM. It's kind of like a, hey, look at me, I'm flashing, don't shift over me. But that is a real neat feature with the STI. Now let's talk about the six speed transmission. So now, as you guys know, sorry for the crow, but the STI actually comes with a six speed transmission as the STI only comes manual in the United States, but it also comes in automatic in Japan. But the six speed transmission in this car is so smooth. It's just butter going through all six gears. And there's also a reverse lock. I gotta lift up to put the car in reverse. This car is just the smoothest shifting car I've ever driven. Every shift is just slides in easy. There's no grinding, there's no hiccup, there's no anything. It's just perfectly smooth running transmission. And the STIs are known for having such a great transmission that people always swap them into their WRXs. Hence is why I'm very glad and very lucky to have worked hard to earn this STI for this transmission alone is what makes the car worth getting. Now we're gonna talk about two more things before we get out of here. We're gonna talk about the storage of the car and then the amazing $1,200 Subaru head unit, which I can't wait to show you guys. But let's show the little bit of storage I have in here. So you start from the left, you have a little cup holder thing there, a little compartment down there that can hold a drink. You have this little cubby hole here. You have a nice big cup holder compartment. You can fit a big deep cup in there. Back here, we have 
just a little glove box. And my mom actually got me this wonderful STI. It's a 22B and I always keep it in here because it's just real sweet and I don't know, I love my mama. And then you come over here and you look and it's just the normal glove box. As you see my front plate sitting there with a the rag to always keep it clean. And then we go to the back seat, same situation with the WRX. No cup holder, just a random armrest. And you have the little cubby holes on the back of the doors. But other than that, there's not much else storage in here, but that's okay because I absolutely love it. It is just the right amount because I keep absolutely nothing in this car. As I don't drive this car a lot, it's only my weekend or nice day or whenever I feel like driving car. Now let's move on to the head unit. So if you look here, you can see right off the bat, we have a map, we have voice controls, and we have audio. Now the thing about this is, let's say I wanna go to settings. Huh. Settings. Doesn't work. Let's try going to setup. Oh, there it goes. We'll go to Bluetooth. Um, let's go here. So see how the left side works? Oh, I wanna go back real quick. As you can see, the calibration on the touchscreen is very off and I actually bought the car with it like that. And I've always heard very bad things about Subaru radios. And the last car I had didn't have the best radio, but this one connects to Bluetooth. And the sound system, the STI is actually great. I'll show you a quick clip of that real quick. <laughs> So that, as you see, that's really about all the radio has to offer is voice command, which I haven't really played with too much, audio, which, you know, connect to Bluetooth, play the radio, or a map where you can enter, you know, your address or something. But since that touchscreen doesn't work too well, it's kind of hard to enter things. So I just use my phone. But I actually did forget this car has a boom, sunroof. Let me show you that real quick. So if you look up here, you have the controls. So obviously, there's your dome lights. But here you have a open, which will open the sunroof, or you can close it. And they're both automatic. They can automatically open and automatically close, or you can pop it up and down. And the cool thing is you can roll with the sunroof open, but I actually open on rainy days like this and just enjoy your drive which that is one of my favorite things about this car is going on cruises with the windows down, top up, and just nice loud music. And that, everybody, is my new 2014 STI. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more content. And if you were wondering any questions, I will explain what happened to the WRX. I will explain a little bit maybe about why I didn't post so long, but for now, Let's get a gorgeous view of me driving off into the sunset.